Hi everyone, this is Christina from Getting Crafty. Today I'm going to show you how to make a spooky glass plate and put some spider webs on your plates. There's a couple of different ways you can do this. I have actually included this picture as a download, um, so you can print this one out or and do this, or you can find another spider web that you may or may not like. And then you can use either glass um, paint and the and then bake it in the oven. And you would have to do it according to, you know, you'd have to find out from the manufacturer of the plate that you went that you bought the plate from um, according to the baking instructions. This is just a, a dollar plate that I picked up from IKEA, and I usually store all my stuff away. So I'm just going to use acrylic paint because I can either keep it and put it in a box or I can wipe it off and use it for Christmas and do the whole thing with like a Christmas design on here with like a Christmas tree or something. So what you want to do is you want to get your spider web, but you want to put your plate upside down. You want to paint this on the bottom because you don't want to put the paint where there's going to be food or anything like that. I have some glitter acrylic paint and I have some black acrylic paint. First I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some glitter right where I want the spider at. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this and go ahead and just let you watch. And all you, all you basically do is just draw the spider web on there. Okay, so the coat that I put on of the glitter paint really was not all that thick. So I'm just going to let it dry for just a minute and then I will be back as soon as it's dry to paint the black. Hi everyone, this is Christina again. I am back to paint with the black paint over the web. And so I'm just going to go ahead and do that real fast so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so there's my spider, although he looks very fat and very hairy, but I suppose that's okay. And his back legs are a little bit messed up, but that's alright. So that's all you have to do. Remember, if you decide to use, oops, sorry. If you decide to use glass paint, you need to let it dry um, in the oven and you need to call your manufacturer to see what the temperature is and stuff like that. I don't want to tell you the wrong thing in case it breaks. And then with acrylic paint, you just have to make sure that you don't wash it um, because it will wash off and it will uh, flake and crack off as well. You could always spray it with a sealant if you wanted to. Um, I don't know if I'm going to or not because I don't know if I'm going to keep the plate or if I'm going to use it for Christmas. But that is how you can, I'm going to flip it over even though it's not dry. 
but now it looks like that. I don't know if you can see the sparkle in it, but you can do that with any glass plate. And that'll give you some cute little plates for any holiday dinner or something that you have. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I will see you all next time. Bye now.